So you have your Apple Watch now and you wanna make it yours. What's the fun of having a smartwatch if you don't customize it and make it yours? So the first thing I'm gonna do here is pick up my iPhone and we'll go into our Apple Watch app and then you go into your clock settings and you can see there's 24 hour push alerts, all these different settings. Here there's even a monogram setting where you can put up to four letters and I'll show you that actually on the watch face itself here in just a minute. But once we get that all set up, we will head over to the watch itself and take over from there. So now I will switch to the actual Apple Watch itself. So one of the first things you want to do is press and hold, which they call a force hold, and then you swipe through all your screens here, and I'll kind of go through them and show you what the basics of them are. Obviously, if you have this watch, you can do this for yourself, but for those who don't, I'll go ahead and show you some, most of the basics, um, at least everything that I can think of. If you select new, nothing happens, but if you go ahead and go into one of these watch faces and you hit customize and you go through all these steps and you make it glowing pink or purple or blue or whatever, then you can save it and then still go ahead and add a new one of the same watch face in case that's your favorite one. So we'll pick this one here and customize it. And this one's just a basic one with very large numbers. The only thing you can set on this one is the color. So to set that, once you're happy with it, you just go ahead and pick the color that you wanna do. And then you, I would think you would push the screen, but that doesn't do it. You actually press and hold the crown and then you press the screen and that sets it into place. So moving on here, we will go ahead and customize another one and show you some more options. We will pick utility and customize. And these do have different pages that you can scroll through here. But if I scroll the little wheel here, the crown as they call it, um, you can see that it's really adding a whole lot more detail. You can have way more on your dial or way less. And it's really up to your choosing what you would like or how you feel it's necessary. And once you have that set, you just go ahead and press your dial and then your screen and you are set. So one of the cool things here is, um, depending on how you actually set it up, if we go through here and customize this, you can see there's all these different options that you have. And these actually come into play later on with what you have set here, besides what it actually displays for you. Um, say you go ahead and pick, uh, let me see through here. So I will select the stopwatch here and I will go ahead and set this up to be my custom watch that I'm currently using. And then you just select down here at the bottom where you've seen this green button and that starts your watch and you're ready to go for a run or stop and that's it. So how you actually set this watch up may not be just for looks, it may be your applications that you're going to be using it in your daily life. So that's kind of cool to have all these different options. So now we're looking at modular and actually it has some of the most information since it's not your basic watch, it's more of a digital watch. All these little boxes can be configured and it'll actually display a little more info than the ones that have a major dial taking up most of the real estate of the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one up here and I'm gonna include an alarm and show you just how that works. So if you take a look at the bottom right hand screen, you can see it shows the a little alarm symbol and then it says none. So if we click that and it opens it up, it tells us we don't have any alarm set, but if we want to set it, you just press firmly and then do your force touch and then it will actually allow you to add your alarm and you just scroll through all your options here and set it up and then you're good to go and you will have your alarm. And I think it's really cool that you can just access all that and customize it right there. So some of these do give you the options to open up things like here you can collect the date and it opens your calendar. But if you click the time here, it doesn't open anything. And I thought one of the other different faces did, but with this one, I, it does, I don't get any kind of responses here. If we click the weather, it opens up my local weather and you can scroll through that right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other faces here. So we turn our dial here and you can see that it's making changes to the clock face itself. It's going from having a lot of info to very minimalistic. Now this color wheel on some of these, I don't understand what it's actually doing. So forgive me for that. But if we go ahead and set this up, I will show you this one. And this one gives you a very nice minimal look here. And it doesn't have any numbers or anything like that. So these do give you a whole lot of control over your custom faces themselves. So taking a look at the Mickey Mouse one here, it has three different options of boxes that you can change and customize it how you would like it. And if we take a look at it, you can see he's actually tapping his foot to the time there and that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at another animated one here. I'll pick the jellyfish 
and I just kind of quickly go through here. I don't really care what it's got going on, but this one only basically has two of these settings here that you can change. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it and see it in action. So you can see it slowly starts to fade in and then it actually kind of looks a little bit realistic. Um, you can just see it pulsating as it would naturally if you were standing in an aquarium looking through the glass. So if you're somebody that runs late, you can actually head into your apps and then hit settings and then go into the time category and then you can manually set it up so that your watch is not auto time zoned to your actual location. So if you're somebody that's always late, you can go ahead and set it up for five or 10 minutes longer. So that way you feel like you're running late and try to get there faster, which will actually make you on time. So to keep this from being a 30 minute long video, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you guys for watching.